Hey, it's everyone's favorite pony back for another episode. That's right, Starlight has her own episode in the show proper besides the premiere. Okay, okay, I know folks are probably gonna bring up a certain great and powerful someone, but hey, Starlight having her first legitimate episode is something, right? Could be good, could be bad, but we'll just have to see. She already had her first taste in the season 6 premiere, and it seems like so far the writers don't seem to put her into an episode unless the episode calls for her. So is this going to be a Discord situation where the episodes turn out alright, or is this going to be a Spike situation which depends on whether or not the writers want to make Spike good or not? Well, let's check out No Second Francis to find out. Princess Celestia is coming for a visit. Wow, it feels like it's only been yesterday since her last one. But she's coming to check on how Starlight's friendship lessons are coming along. Before she arrives, however, Twilight asks Starlight to make a new friend and invite them to the party. Other main six and Sunburst not counting. Starlight tries to make friends based on the other main six's recommendations, but they fail with varying results. After losing faith in herself making a friend, she stops by a spa where she seems to hit it off with one of the patrons. So, who is this mysterious mare? Well, it's the great and powerful Trixie! Wow, we haven't seen her in a long time. Apparently, those two have become great friends with each other, and Twilight is suspicious of their relationship. Is she friends with Starlight for the right reasons, or could there be a more selfish reason? Trixie's reappearance is definitely a major highlight of the episode, probably more for a particular news website's page. But, I was more looking for how Starlight would be represented in it. In the premiere, she could be described as Diet Sunset Shimmer, mostly for her talking about her past and wanting to move on from that. There are elements of that here, but there are more details of individuality shown here. For one, apparently Starlight hasn't moved on from manipulating others, seeing that she is quick to change Big Mac's less talkative personality into giving him the gift of gab. Honestly, this scene had me rolling for a while, and it does show that Starlight does need to grow and a simple song number in a finale would not be enough to change that. Also, there's the fact that Starlight may be more magic-dependent than most unicorns, maybe even Twilight. She uses magic as a definite shortcut for tasks, whether it be for setting a table, baking a cake, or making Big Mac spout alliterations. I like this, it does give her more character that is very in line with her former villainous personality. Okay, okay, enough about this great and powerful unicorn, time to talk about the other great and powerful unicorn, Trixie. She hasn't appeared in an episode since Magic Duel, so I was curious as to see how she would be portrayed in this one. She's still boastful and all, but it is evident that she regrets on what she did back in her other appearance. She does get some discouraging comments from the other pony folk, which, in this case, makes much more sense than Boastbusters, where she actually did something bad in her last appearance. Trixie has been shown to be more in line with her character, but it feels more... natural here. Sure, she's boastful, but it's more of a personality trait rather than something that's frowned upon. The episode treats her more like a character than an antagonist, which is different than her other appearances. Yeah, she was kind of treated as a pseudo-antagonist by Twilight, but not throughout the episode. I know I may sound like a shipper for saying this, but... Starlight and Trixie have great chemistry with each other. They speak to each other like equals, seeing that they both share a troubled past. I love the conversation they have with each other. When Trixie feels bad for what she did back then, Starlight supports her. When Trixie talks about her interests, Starlight comments on how cool it sounds. Gah, I love this pair so much, it feels like a believable friendship. Now, I may like the main parts of the episode, but there is one element that bugs me. Twilight. I know some folks will bring up that Twilight shouldn't judge Trixie as she did in the episode, seeing as how Magic Duel ended. But in that episode... All Trixie did was apologize and immediately left after doing so, even showing that she is still a boastful sort. Also, Trixie has not been shown in the show for a long time now, and it's very unlikely that the two kept track one of another personally. By Trixie's personality and actions in previous episodes, Twilight had all rights to be even a little suspicious of her. However, not as much as she did in this episode. Oh, what's the best way to put this? Twilight is like that very paranoid mother for their child. She tries to watch over them when she can, tries to guide her child towards a particular direction, and even verbally punishes them in front of their friends. And that's what Twilight does throughout the episode, and it does get pretty annoying. I was kinda hoping that the message between her and Spike would have stuck, but apparently she needed another episode in order to finalize it. Although I am glad that Starlight does call out Twilight for it, and I guess Twilight still needs to get a handle on teaching someone. But it was testing my patience to see her this way. Also, a very side note, when are we going to get a Celestia episode? She has been featured three times in this season so far, and she's either been there for plot reasons, or in this episode's case, a single good joke. Our Princess of the Sun deserves better. Maybe an episode? Maybe? 
I've heard some people say that Magic Duel was enough for Trixie and she didn't need an episode like this in order to complete her story. To be frank, I disagreed. I wanted to see Trixie come back, but this time as a legitimate character rather than a villain or a force villain. And No Second Princess did that for me. We see Trixie acting like a normal character who can actually get along with someone. We see Starlight get some more character, and there's some great character interaction between the two. I only wish that Twilight and Trixie had a moment to get along with each other, but unlike Magic Duel, I want to see Trixie come back for the right reasons. I definitely enjoyed this episode, plenty more than Trixie's other episodes, and I would welcome another episode if she made an appearance. Some folks may find enjoyment from seeing Starlight and Trixie get along with each other on this, but I guess it depends on whether or not you want to give these characters a chance. Sure wish Twilight was written better in this, but maybe she should be given a second chance with Trixie. Who knows? Our Princess of the Night deserves bet- oh, I said night. <laughs> Is this something unconscious?